For the second straight day, the workers at Valor Gear take their message to the streets. I want my money. I want paid. Armed with poster board and a friendly wave, the former employees at this gun holster factory in Inglewood are sending a not so friendly message to their boss. He took a send there and said, if you clock out and leave, you're fired. And I said, well, what incentive are you giving us to stay? Are you going to pay us? No. <laughs> According to office manager Franklin Harris, it's been three weeks since anyone's seen a paycheck. Valor Gear is owned by Mark Fryer, who told News 12 off camera that he is only a week and a half behind in payments. Fryer says that his workers were warned months ago that pay could be sporadic. When we worked for this company in good faith, you know, and took lie after lie, and eventually, you know, we, we just can't take it anymore. You know, our bills have piled up, and it's come to the point where we have to have our money. And zero pay is only one complaint. The picketers are also protesting poor working conditions. Clyde Cook says the factory has no air conditioning and no running water. Some called Valor Gear a sweatshop that doesn't pay. This one woman down here, she's about to get evicted because she can't pay her rent, you know, because they're not paying her. They've caused a lot of mental anguish here. I mean, with people worrying and worrying and still putting their faith in them, finally we just can't do it anymore. Fryer says all employees will receive their due wages in the coming weeks. Both sides are considering legal action. From Inglewood, Jason Law, WDEF News 12.